Hello viewers of Biotechnica, welcome to another video. So today in this video, I'll be talking about what are the best countries that you can study your bachelor's in biotechnology or BS in biotechnology. So let's talk about the complete topic in detail. This is Caroline Green from Biotechnica. So let's get started to the video. If you are someone who are looking for a bachelor's degree in biotechnology abroad, then this video is definitely going to help you. I'll be talking about the best country and some of the best university, very specially for your bachelor's in biotechnology. There are a lot of universities in the world, but I'll be talking about which university is specialized in bachelors in biotechnology? There are a lot of universities and colleges who are specialized in masters and PhD. But in this video, I'll be talking about BS in biotechnology. The first country, of course, we all know about United States of America. So I'll be talking about the United States of America. So what's the reason that you have to choose United States of America? That's the main reason because... It has to be very appropriate for us to choose any courses. So I'll be talking about the details. So first, what is the purpose or the reason to choose United States of America? There is a wide range of specialization. As a biotechnologist, everybody wanted to land up in a job. But biotechnology in case of U.S. is vastly growing and even the research that's been going on in the U.S. is far more greater than every places and they have wide range of specialization and they have a lot of industries which talks about the scientific interventions and the technology. And there are a lot of world class universities, all the almost all the top universities that you can find in the United States of America. Various work opportunity. The most important thing is everybody wanted to get a uh, land up in a very good position or in a job. So that is also available in United States of America. But uh, there is one important thing that has to be taken into consideration is United States of America, the fees is literally a bit higher when we compare it with the other places. So there are scholarship very specially for bachelors in biotechnology also. So what are the universities that are most specialized in bachelors in biotechnology? There are many universities who are very good enough in masters and PhD. So since we are dealing only with bachelors, let's talk about University of Kentucky. And this is the program is going to be BS Agricultural and Medical Biotechnology. They're going to provide you. Suppose if you are someone who is interested in agriculture biotechnology and medical biotechnology, which is two in one, then definitely you can go for it. Uh, the average fees for one year, this is going to be four years program. So the average fees for one year is going to be 29,000 US dollars and Indian rupee is going to be 21 lakh approximately. And duration is going to be four years. If you want to pursue your bachelor's in biotechnology, you need to have your English language test, which can be IELTS or TOEFL. Usually they preferred IELTS. So you can have either one of these things. The next is going to be Auburn University. And the pr program is going to be BSc Applied Biotechnology. And the average fees is 32,000 US dollars, which is approximately 24 lakh according to our Indian rupee. And the course is also going to be four years. They do accept TOEFL and IELTS also. The next is Paul University, the Paul University, the average fees is 40,000 US dollar and the course is going to be BSc Microbiology, Biotechnology, Biological Science Department. So you can also pursue your biotechnology BS here and here it is BSc and the duration is four years and they also welcome uh, IELTS and TOEFL if you have written. So these are some of the universities that you can go for if you're choosing bachelors uh, in Biotechnology, if you talk about most of the university who are very specialized in biotechnology, they have masters and PhD, but they do not have bachelors. So since we are restricting on to bachelor's degree, we have this sort of university and there are many more university and each of these university have specialized uh, scholarships that's been applicable for each of them. You have to visit those websites. You'll be understanding what are the scholarships that are available. If you want to know more about the scholarship, always it's available at Biotechnica website or the Telegram channel or even the YouTube channel that you can watch out. So the second country is going to be United Kingdom. Of course, let's talk about why you have to choose United Kingdom for your bachelor's in biotechnology. The reason is 
very simple all of you know which has a rich biotech ecosystem which is a biotech hub is there and this um, uk has lot of biotech companies so rapidly growing number of biotech companies are there where you can land up as a intern and then start off your masters or even your integrated phd in any uh, reputed institutions in the uk and top colleges and top universities you can find it over there so what are the colleges that you can apply to imperial college london uh, uk and university of manchester and northumbria university newcastle uh, uk you can go for it first let's talk about the imperial college london at uk and this is a bachelor of science in biotechnology bs in biotechnology is available the average fees according to the indian rupee is going to be 39 lakh and the, if you're going to have a ielts band of 6.5 and if you're going to have a pearson's english language test of 62 then you are good enough to go for imperial college london the next is university of manchester here also they are going to provide bs in biotechnology the average fees is 23 lakh for one year and the duration of this course is 3 years and if you have ielts or your pearson test then you can good enough to go for it this is the band 6.5 band you need to have and pearson's test you need to have 42 and northumbria university we're going to see they also provide bachelors but this is going to be bsc honors in biotechnology and the average fees for one year is 16 lakh and ielts score you need to have 6 band and pte pearson test you you need to have 54 So these are some of the universities, and of course they do have their own scholarship to apply for. You can look onto the website of all these universities, and you'll get to know what are the scholarship available at UK. Now let's talk about the third best country to study or BS in biotechnology. Next, we'll be talking about Australia. So what's the reason you have to choose Australia? So Australia has a very high quality education, and here uh, most predominantly they accept PTE test and high student satisfaction. You might see a lot of Indian students who are studying over there, and they also have a growing biotechnology industry and lot of work opportunities are available after you pursue your bachelor's or your or your master's or your PhD in biotechnology. If we have to talk about the university, what are the university? University of Adelaide and you know. University of Melbourne, RMIT University at Melbourne, Australia, and ANU University, Canberra, Australian National University. So first, let's talk about University of Adelaide. So here they provide Bachelor of Science in Biotechnology, and approximately fees here is going to be twenty one point six lakh for one year. And they used to accept TOEFL score of seventy nine score. If you're going to have, then it's good enough to go for. University of Adelaide, you can start your application process. And University of Melbourne, you can uh, they provide Bachelor of Science in Biotechnology, and even they have uh, the annual package or the average salary you know, fee package is going to be twenty two lakh for one year, and they accept IELTS six point five band they'll accept. RMIT University Melbourne Australia is going to have even bachelor's in science in biotechnology this is the program that they actually provide and the average fees for one year is rupees 20 lakhs and the IELTS score is going to be 6.5 and even they do accept TOEFL 79 score if you're going to have the next is going to be Australian National University ANU University Canberra and here also they provide bs in biotechnology average fees for one year is 26 lakh and the ielts score is 6.5 and the duration of this course is going to be 3 years and they do accept pte or score of about 64 Australia also has its own funding so you can look on to the university website which i have been talking about you'll get to know the scholarship available for each of the university i'm not talking about consolidated so you can look on to the website and you will get to know about it if you would like to know about the scholarship also you can put it in the comment section the next is going to be germany yes what about germany of course uh, when we talk about the educational system in the entire world germany's fees is very affordable when we compare it with the other university when it when we talk about bachelors or masters most of the university provide free education for german students as well as uh, international students and even if you go for some private university also the fees is kind of affordable when we compare with the other university so why you have to choose the germany uh, as your uh, pathway to going for your bachelors in biotechnology 
So the reasons are here. So you have the most important thing is affordable tuition fees. And of course, after your bachelor's, you have your master's degree. You'll be studying in Heidelberg University, uh, Technical University of Munich. Uh, you can study in top most university and you can also enter into some research laboratories like DKFZ. You can go for HBIGS. So there are a lot of uh, universities and research laboratories which are available in Germany and after that you can also apply for DART scholarship and you can go for it. So top performing universities are in Germany of course and biotechnology companies are maximum in Germany. So definitely after your education it's a greater opportunity that you land up in a job in Germany if you take up internship in some companies. The next is going to be what are the universities. So, of course, Heidelberg University, one of the oldest and the public university, which provides free uh, courses also, and they provide affordable tuition fees also. You can go for it. And, of course, DART fellowship is available for master's also. After this, you can apply for your master's as well as for your PhD also. BS Biotechnology is available. And in Heidelberg, they usually accept TOEFL score or IELTS score or PTE scores. Every scores are accepted at Heidelberg University, and it's also available at Heidelberg. The next is going to be Technical University of Munich. And here also the Bachelor of Science in Biotechnology, but it's in, but it's in German. The TOEFL or IELTS score is also accepted and the duration in most of the university in Germany will be three years. So even Technical University of Munich also has a Bachelor's of Biotechnology for about three years. The next comes University of Applied Sciences in Aachen and here also they have BS Biotechnology and the course is of course three years in Germany and TOEFL, IELTS, PT, everything I accepted at um, Aachen University, University of Applied Sciences, Aachen. The next is going to be the Bruch University of Applied Sciences in Berlin and here also they do have BS in Biotechnology. The duration of this course is going to be three years and TOEFL, IELTS, everything are accepted over here. So you can also look around for the university website so you'll get to know about when is going to be uh, the notification of each of the university's bachelor's degree whether it's in on spring or autumn or uh, whether it's on summer you have to apply for it you can look into the websites also. The next comes uh, the last best university that you can apply for your BS in biotechnology which is Canada. So you can find a lot of Indian students uh, studying in Canada. Of course Canada has its own heritage. Why do you have to choose Canada to do your bachelor's in biotechnology? It has high educational standards and top rated university you can find and when we talk about science and technology of course Canada is very good enough in science and technology as well as in engineering so you can definitely go for Canada and some of the universities in Canada for bachelors in biotechnology you can opt for University of Toronto and Queen's University, University of Manitoba. So in University of Toronto, if you see, they provide honors Bachelor of Science in Molecular Biology and Biotechnology. You can go for, if we have to talk about the Canadian dollars, it is almost 58,000 Canadian dollars. Uh, the fees will be there for you. And in Queen's University, they do provide BSc in Biotechnology, 39,247 Canadian uh, dollars. Uh, is going to be the fees at Queen's University and University of Manitoba. So here also you have Bachelors of Science Honours in Biotechnology and 19,000 Canadian dollars is going to be the fees at University of Manitoba. So these are some of the universities which are more specialized in BSc in Biotechnology or BS in Biotechnology. So this is about the Canada, which is the top institute where you can go in for or the university or colleges that you can go for it. These are some of the best countries that you can study BS in biotechnology. But apart from that, there are uh, universities which are available in Denmark. And you can go for even uh, Japan and China as well as Singapore. When we have to talk about not only the Western part and Asian part, if we have to talk about, you can go for Singapore. So there are many, many opportunities which are available. Uh, so we've been talking about uh, the top five or the best countries that you can go for your BS in biotechnology, which is, of course, United States of America and then United Kingdom. We've been talking about and Australia and then Germany. And last, we've talked about Canada. And of course, Denmark is... Uh, very nice if you want to go for BS in biotechnology like University of Copenhagen. Uh, there are many, many universities that you can really go in for studying a BS in biotechnology. So if you have any doubts regarding this one, you're always welcome to put your questions in the comment section. So I believe that this video is helpful for all of you. Thank you so much. And I'm going to meet you back again with another video. Thank you.